some time warp back to the 70s, back to when ABBA ruled the charts. They look like ABBA, they sound like ABBA. So who the heck are they? Hello, I'd like to introduce you Bjorn von Voice. And this is... And yet a foster. I have over here on my left, Benny and the where? Feeder Longstocken, yeah. the woman of my dreams. And, and we, we are Bjorn again. And Yetta, did you put the glitter? I always put the glitter. Did yeah. you put the glitter? Yeah, I'm putting it. Why would anybody want to recreate those smelchy Swedish shakers right down to the awkward accents and those sickening silver shoes? I think they had very good fashion sense. Um, and I, from what I am told, they were huge in the 1970s, yeah? But uh, we are Bjorn again, and we are kind of huge in yeah. 1990s. And we want to be huge, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Cover the world with the fashion of ours. Again was Bjorn in Melbourne out of the fevered brain of this man lurking up the back of the stage playing bass guitar. He's the only one without a Swedish name or accent, Rod Woolley. I think we can all appreciate how popular ABBA were and yes, most of us like the songs. We've played 400 gigs now and you've got to like the songs at least to be able to play them. Their official biography claims they're the survivors of a helicopter crash suffering amnesia on a remote island. They were introduced to music by friendly natives and then concluded they must be ABBA. Which is pretty silly, but it seems to work. You see at our concerts, People seem to know all the words, they sing, they laugh, they have the times of their life. Yeah, and they do all the dances that we do, they do them all and they know all the words and they know exactly what we're going to do and we don't know why. Some cynics have suggested they're just clever imitators, but it's not so. Their music is more upbeat than others and there's a healthy dose of satire built in. You're an I forbid it. You may not have dinner with Frida. But there is nothing involved in obeying what Why don't you give me? Why don't you give me? Why don't you give me? A car. We asked Australia's number one ABBA fanatic to review the band. You may remember Maud as the girl who lives and breathes ABBA every waking moment. There's a picture of ABBA. If I look to this side, there's another picture of ABBA. ABBA's more um, very pop. It's like a nice, catchy, slow beat. But beyond again, I'm more of a hard beat that you can really get into and dance to. Well, I shouldn't, even, shouldn't say this against ABBA, but I like that hard beat. they're going to Europe, the start of a grand tour which will culminate on stage in Sweden. So will the world accept an Australian band with Swedish accents who mimic a Swedish band who sang in English? We would like to cover the whole world in glitter and satin and in beautiful melodies. And good music, love and love and more and lots of love. I think I would like to be some sort of an interior decorator, maybe. Benny, you have to look at me like that. Oh, Frida, you know, I Frida. can't help it. Yeah. What their fans don't know is that a shadow hangs over their glorious plan. For some time, Benny has been trying to get it together with Frida, who has repulsed his advances. That is just like men, you know. The future of Bjorn again is threatened by Benny's mental anguish. Well, you know, I believe that I am married to Frida and she is to me, but... 
She does not believe it. It will never, never work. But it did. No. You just don't remember, Frida. That's right. I choose not to. Now, Frida and I are looking for an Australian man, preferably after midnight. What? Well, just that? one between two? No, each. Oh. Why is it? No, not just. I don't mind to share. Yeah, well, we can have more than two. We can have many. So what try. problem do you have with myself? And I don't like the way this is going. We can... No. Nay. Really? Nay. Nay.